we're going to wait to cook uh, corn on the cod with the uh, lemon and saffron mayonnaise and sweet potato rosti. So I like a nice cloth underneath the chopping board and um, I have the knife and the piece of cod. I would tend to give it just a nice uh, light um, wash uh, under, the, under the tap and then just put it uh, just dab it on some kitchen paper and straight onto the board. I'm going to butterfly this. Now don't be scared. At the moment I am purely trimming up any pieces of skin and I'm, I'm taking my hand and I'm just looking for any bones or anything that is just slight sinew and I'm just giving it a wee tidy up. I'm going to take the piece of cod I'm going to squidge it together to find the fattest, the fattest uh, piece and I'm, so it sits nicely onto the board. I'm going to use the knife. This is probably the most technical part of the dish. I'm going to make an incision halfway through the cod. And can you see that, guys? It's going to open up like a butterfly. I'm going to put that straight onto the tray. I'm going to just put a, a little drizzle of the, uh, the lovely Macintosh Glendenfly oil just up the road. And that is the fish prep done. The reason I've done that, it's going to cook more evenly because if you've got a big piece of fish like that, it's going to take a bit longer. Is everybody okay if I carry on with the topping for the, the fish? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, awesome. it's a super simple, uh, guys. Chopping up the pepper, you could take each individual um, strand of pepper and you could go really, really fine. This is quite a rustic recipe, so I'm not encouraging you to get too stressed out about it. I've got some sweet corn. You could use the fresh uh, baby corn, but I was very much going with store covered uh, ingredients. I have uh, a lovely um, definite dairy cheddar and I'm going to add that. So we've got the red pepper, yeah. corn and the cheese. I have one uh, just lightly first egg. You should have quite a, a gooey kind of cheese mix. I mean, I've got some fresh parsley here, a uh, tablespoon. So, you know, be quite generous with it. And we are ready to put the lovely mixture on top of the fish. And you can just spread it out to cover almost to the edge. I wanted to give you a bit of a real close up Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. So we're going to put that into the oven. Is everybody oven, almost oven ready? Ta-da! Yes. Yay! Um, that's really good, really good. Into the oven, folks. Into the awesome. oven. Set the timer for 12 minutes. For the mayonnaise, we have got some pre-made mayonnaise. We've got light mayonnaise. We have some white wine, which is actually a, a, a real find in our house because it goes pretty quickly. <laughs> um, saffron or um, turmeric. I'm getting a pan. Uh, I would kind of, um, and I'm just wanting that to boil as quickly as possible. So in the pan, we have the wine, yeah. the lemon, the zest, and the juice of the lemon and the saffron. And you should have a beautiful color. That smells amazing. Is it, is hey, this yes, Lauren. Is that what it should look like, eh? Yeah. Yeah, mine's is like Woo! that. Woo! For the meals, we're looking at three generous teaspoon, uh, tablespoons in a bowl. Okay. The meal okay. is into a separate bowl. Right, everybody should have mayonnaise in one bowl. So what I want you to do 
with half a tea, half a spoon at a time, I want you to add it to the mayonnaise. Just add a little bit of time. Yeah, there's a really nice color on it. Can I have your mayonnaise? Mayonnaise ready. I'm a wee bit ahead of you guys, but I've got my cod out of the oven, which hopefully you can see. If you're taking a small knife and you're just pressing down, I mean, you can just feel the flake. It's just going to slightly come away. I'm really keen. Uh, this is really important. Just leave it to rest. Just at the last minute, I'm going to add a tiny bit of the cheddar on top. A little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to add some more fresh parsley. Has everybody peeled their potato, carrot and sweet potato, or do you have to do it? So what I'm going to do, because it's so simple, I've peeled a carrot, sweet potato, and a normal. These are uh, my preferences, uh, a rooster. We're just going to get sweet potato. I'm using this, uh, my mum's old grater. The two types of tatty and the carrot. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. So I've got one beautiful uh, egg yolk and I'm going straight in. I'm going to give it a good mix round. I've got a non-stick frying pan on next and I'm going to go with my hands and I'm going to give this a good squeeze. So I'm taking off some of the egg but it's going to bind it together and we're going to go right to the middle of the pan. After a couple of minutes, I'm just going to press it down slightly. And I'm just going to turn the rossi, and I'm wanting a nice bit of colour. Just press it down, don't worry too much, as long as it's sticking together. I just took my fish out the oven, it looks amazing! It looks Yay! So amazing. Yay! Oh, it looks so good! I am now ready to present this dish. I'm going to be a little bit bossy. Yeah. And we're gonna, we're gonna take some mayonnaise on the plate like so. And just a good swipe like that for presentation. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the potato rosti on the plate, followed by I'm just going to put on half first. That is fabulous. <laughs> Joking. I'm going to finish this with some more fresh herbs. Just a drizzle of the oil. Not much at all, put your finger over the bottle, and here we have it, ladies. Corn Yay. on the cod, rusty potatoes, oh, wow. ladies. How did you get your switch so good? I know, <laughs> awesome. Well, but listen, if you if you if if you guys if it all looks bad, it's my fault. <laughs> Are you pleased with it? Yeah. Well done. Oh, fantastic. Does it look okay? Yeah, well done. Yeah, brilliant. I think you're doing really well, guys. As we've all seen tonight with this lovely recipe, it's, you know, 12 to 15 minutes max in the oven and a bit of preparation in advance. And Bob's your uncle. You've got something that is, you know, Definitely. your standard of restaurant. I mean, it's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you again, Lindsay. Thank you so much for having us.